Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruel TV YouTuber, this does a lot of makeup content and today I'm going to do multiple looks with one palette. I'm going to do two looks, one palette with a Kaleidos Flower Punk palette and I have only used this once. And I don't know why I bought this. This came in the summer, in the beginning of the summer. And it looks like this. I can leave my first impression up here. And if you may know, I love Kaleidos. But this palette, <laughs> the lid is like loose. I hate this. Some people love it. I hate it. But I'm going to use this today, so I'm going to do a two looks, and I think I at least know what I want to do now for the first look. So I think we just hop into this. So my plan for this first look is doing a half cut crease and take, I think, these two pink ones, and then take this minty shimmer one. I at least think I will do that. So. I'll just start with Peach Soju in my crease and what I can remember I really like this shade if I'm not mistaken and it's not like only the lid thing <laughs> that makes me not want to use this palette but I don't know I think I'm not just as blown away as uh, everybody else seems to use this palette but I don't know why. I just don't... I don't know. I just don't... feel it. I don't know. I have no idea. And I was like very excited for this palette when I first used it because I love Kaleidos and I'm always excited when they're releasing new things and just like to use them because it is one of my favorite brands but it's something about this palette that I'm not super I don't know it's not that special to me as my other Kaleidos I don't know why okay I will go in with this darker pink out here and what I can remember I really like this shade if I remember correctly and yeah, I do like this shade. I'm also going to blend it up in my crease together with the lighter peachy one. So, and then I will cut my crease because what I can remember this is, this is more like a topper. Can you see something? This is more as maybe topper, so, but I think if I cut my crease, it might look good, better, okay. Awesome, awful. Do I even have like a little brush to cut my crease with? No. Like, why can't I, oh yes, here I have one. Okay, so I'm just going to take my glitter primer from NYX. And then I actually will take the lid to this palette to have a mirror a little bit closer. And then I'm just going to cut this little crease. Okay, so maybe like for uh, this occasion it's good that I can take off the lid. But at the same time, I don't like it. Okay, now we will see how this will look. So I pack it onto my brush. And stamp it on. Ooh. This. I like. I think I only used this shade in my inner corner when I did my first impression. Because I did use all the shades I think. Because I did two different eyes. So technically I have done two looks with them. I think I just used this in my inner corner. But this looks amazing. And I guess that it wouldn't look this amazing if I didn't have the glitter primer. But like, I don't mind. I love this combo. This is really minty. And also a little bit, I don't know, maybe gold? 
feels like it's <laughs> falling down my face. Worth, wor worse things has happened. I will take this one, <laughs> the pink shimmer, and take it. Now I have so many things. I need like two more hands. It would be great investment. I take the pink shimmer and I'm going to use that to blend. Maybe that is not helping. Because I think I need the glue primer with this one as well. Maybe it helped a little bit. But I still want to go in with the matte one. Okay, I, I love this. I love the green shimmer. I think it looks really, really cool. And uh, I maybe want to take something fun in my inner corner, but I will cut this crease, fix my base, finish up this look, and then I come back. And uh, so far, I'm loving this. And it looks amazing, this green shimmer. Maybe I like this palette more now than I did before. So I'm done with the look for my wash line. I used a big splash from Colourpop and on my lips. I used one of the new ones from Kaleidos, Dune. And I... I just really love this look. For my lower lash line, I did take these two pink ones and then I sprayed this one and took it in my inner corner inner corner and like under my eyes and I I I love this look I'm so pleased with this I didn't thought that I was going to be that but yeah so so we are getting along me and this palette a little bit more now I think for the next look that I will do some grunge and I will try to not do the same look as I did in my first impression it can be hard because I just love this corner but we will see what I will do, but this is the first look. I am really happy with it and I am a little bit more positive to this palette now than I was when I started, so that is good. So maybe after one look more, maybe we will be in love. I don't know, <laughs> we will see. So if you want to see my second look, just keep on watching. It's time for the second look with the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette and yeah I'm going to do in the end so I'm not going to talk about the feeling I'm having right now so in the first look I did pink look with this and today I'm actually thinking of doing a matte with this look I'm thinking of doing a whole matte look with these three and I know it's pretty similar to my first look but it's just like I can't not use these colors because I just love them. So I will start with this one in my crease and then take this on my outer part of my lid and then take this in my inner part, I at least think. And I love these kind of shades so I just want to use them and I'm going to take red lip to this look. Now I think I have cats here somewhere. Yeah, there is Astrid. And, and I don't know, can you see her down there? I don't know, maybe you can. They like to be with me. So yeah. <laughs> Look at me in the background then. If they can be quiet. Okay, I don't know if this brush is that good. This is a really old brush. I have had this for so many years and it feels super like dry. So I'll take my old trusty blending brush instead. Yeah, this worked better, I think. So this shade is just like a grungy dream for me. I love these kinds of shade and I think you know that if you have been here for just a couple of videos. 
And then I'm going in with the darkest one, Earthship, this one. And I will not take this on such a big part of my lid. Mainly out here. Because I want this look to be kind of light. That is at least what I'm thinking of now. So I'm just going to pop this a little bit out here. Maybe just something like that. But I will go in with a smaller blending brush. Same dark green shade, tap it off and then drag it in my crease. I think that you could hear Ines sneezing. And then I'm going in with this chlorophyll on the rest of my lid. And I really hope that this will look good. I don't know now because you can't hide things as well if you're only doing a matte look. Then if I would have taken a shimmer. But I think this works. This is really pigmented for being such a light shade and I think I have cat hair in my nose. I swear like if I'm ever going to, if I'm going to die home, it's going to be me choking on cat hair because it's everywhere. Okay, this worked really really good. I'm just going to take the darker shade. Get there. On the brush and blend them together. Do you know what I? This turns out exactly as I wanted it to be. I was a little bit afraid that this green was not going to be like bright enough for what I wanted. But it is, and I think it's fairly easy to blend it together with the darker one. And so I'm really, really happy about that. And you know what? I love these eyes. I think it looks so fun, and I... Fun, it's... <laughs> it looks cool, maybe I should say. So I will fix my base and my under eyes, and I think I will drag this lighter green down to my lower lash line and then meet it up with a darker one yeah we'll do that so i will fix everything and then i come back with the second look and also doing my review with this one i might put something in my inner corner i don't know this is kind of maybe a little bit too dark to have in my inner corner i will see what i will do but i think i will take something in my inner corner just to have a little bit of shimmer into this look I will see what I find. It's still me, even though I don't have a red lip to my green eye. I took Mahogany from Kaleidos. This was released at the same time as the Flower Punk palette, so this is deep brown. I actually think I like it. So this is the second look, and I'm really... Oh, I just think about... Well, I haven't taken an inner, inner corner highlight. I think I'll take this. This is Laser Glazer. This is discontinued. This is one of their old highlighters. And I will just pop this in my inner corner. I can't use this as an highlight because it is too dark for me. But it's as an inner corner highlight. I love it. <laughs> I hope that you see something. I don't know. But okay. I really like this look. I think the matte shadows blended into each other so good. And I really love how this, how light this is and really popping. So, okay. Let's dig in to the review with this palette. First off, I... I don't mind that it is a new shape for Kaleidos. This is the first... These, this kind of palette they do. The only thing that I, I can't, I hate this with this packaging and it feels like people really do like it, it is this thing. I, I hate palettes that you can take off the lid, like why? 
What, what am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to lo lose it? I might do. I don't get this. Um, not at all. And <laughs> I... Yeah. I, I, I just hate it. And like people like, you can do like this. And yeah, for what reason? I don't know. So that... I hope they never do a palette like this again. Because I, I just despise this. I seem to be one of the only ones, but I hate it. But if we <laughs> do the colors and uh, the actual palette, I I like it. I like the color scheme. I really wanted the Melt 24-7 palette for 20... 24-7? For 20 palette, but it seems like that was a shitty palette. And it feels like this corner is what I wanted in 420 palette, so that I'm happy with. But I also like the mix between green and the pink and the blues. I think it is a really fun color story and I really love the matte shadows in this palette. I haven't used this that much, I think I've just used it like in the inner corner or something, but the others I have used more than once and I feel that they are really good. It is Kaleido's normal formula. The shimmers, they are good. I think this one is the only one that is really like more opaque. Maybe I can swatch them. I don't know if you will see a difference. I don't know if you can see a difference, but it feels like this green is like a little bit more opaque and these other two are more like toppers. And I don't mind that but it's not my favorite but they work like if you take a glitter primer they will look amazing even though they are more like toppers so i really like this palette the only thing i don't like is the packaging <laughs> but i think the palette is good it is the normal kaleidos i think it's a fun color story and yeah it is not one of my favorite kaleidos palette and i think it never will be but when i first used it I thought it was okay. I didn't mind anything with it. But when I use, when I did the first look for this video, I was like, this is so good. And it was the same thing with the escape pod for me. I wasn't that like pleased with it the first time or wasn't that excited. But the more that I used the escape pod, the more I loved it. And I think it will be the same with this one because when I did this look, this was really fun and I was so excited to do the second look with this palette. I could even do a third look, I think. And I think this palette might be a limited edition. I don't know, but I think it came out this summer. I bought the whole collection with this one and the two lip clay kits. I am happy that I bought it and... I don't know what more to say. If you like this color story, this this is like the only thing that I say when I review Kaleido's palette. If you like the color story and you have tried other palettes from Kaleido's or you want to try, I think you can buy this and you will get their good formula and uh, get the color story you like. So that is always my recommendation for Kaleido's. I have something, you're itching like crazy on my nose. If you like the color story, I think you will like this palette. So yeah, I think that was all and it feels like my these two looks and three looks one palette is getting shorter and shorter but maybe that's better. Maybe you don't want to hear me nag on about things all the time. But yeah, I can recommend this palette. The packaging is shit. I hate it with a passion. But yeah, <laughs> I like the palette. So I hope you liked this video and I don't know, I think actually the first look was my favorite. I really did love it. When I did wash it off later that night, I was like, no, I don't want to. But I still like this. But I think that first look actually was my favorite. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!